Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us here on New Day. The newspaper segment is next. And uh, headline says, we have laser focus on the economy. The vice president says, and President Akufado congratulates Justice Enigne Yeboah to top fever job. The Daily Heritage this morning says, Akufado is weak. Minority declares as his fumes over MPP handling of Otiko Nabu careless talks. And uh, MPP foot soldiers have taken over Galamse sites. Akando says so. We'll get into those details. Syndicate. Uh, dubious ECG meter sale pockets at least 49,000 Ghana, uh, 49, Ghana cities uh, already. And BNFT is reporting also that ASN security strategic investor. And uh, the G, uh, Gold Street business says GIPC to make fronting an offense and agricultural growth inadequacy uh, is uh, at 3.5, that's according to the KPMG. The search for new CJ is Atuguba or Sophia, uh, MPP bonds, Otiko Nabu to behave well. And uh, the, let's do a bit more of the uh, Ghanaian Times. It says, well, Basin in Manche calls for peaceful homo war. Two dead, 23 arrested over shooting incident. Criminal uh, justice laws uh, are cake. Justice Doche and... Uh, Daily Guy says, vacate positions, NPP orders officers. Galamse sex tapes uh, pop out. And 3.2 million KMA Rattray Park cash missing. It's Sophia uh, Kufu for CJ. And uh, the Daily Graphic says, Ghana gets another female CJ. President presents Sophia Kufu today. And that's uh, good news for women. Goshego Midwifery Training School recalls pregnant uh, student and Justice Duche chides judges for refusing to uh, respect uh, Supreme Court's decision to build no more delays in salaries of newly recruited public servants, uh, Mrs. Katriku says. So my guest this morning, of course, the uh, NPP and the NDC re uh, representative as usual. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's been a long time since, we, since we've met. Yes, yes, yes. Interesting. You have abandoned me since, no, you, no. since you got into power. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh, you know, we had to go to the fields and campaign. Mm. And um, it took a lot of time. Right. But I'm back here. So You're back here. Yes. Chief, I like your shirt. Sweet. Thank you. I'm learning from you. When I grow, I want to be like you. Oh. So, so let's <laughs> get into it. We understand that the president will present um, Justice Sophia Kufu today, uh, obviously, to parliament. Uh, you know, the, the, the wait is over. And so we get another lady chief justice, hopefully, if parliament gives the nod. How is it panning out for you? Let me start with you. Thank you very much. Good morning to you and um, your very cherished viewers. Mm -hmm. um, we saw the uh, retirement mm. of our CJ, mm. uh, Ms. Georgina Wood, mm. who did a lot of work for okay. the judiciary. Mm. We have seen it move from you know, uh, uh, um, a certain uh, uh, position mm. to get to where she, she's living off. I mean, mm. she's been able to do a very, very good job um, mm. at the judicial uh, service. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, brought a lot of changes. We saw the establishment mm. of so many courts and other innovations she, she brought on board. Mm. So she's certainly a woman who did very, very well mm. for the judiciary. And we hope that the next person who would come would also be able to move it to mm. a different pedestal. Mm. Having said so, um, her departure certainly means that the position would have to be filled. Mm. And in doing so, certain procedure mm. and processes would have to be followed. Mm. Uh, the president, in consultation with the Judicial Council, would have to nominate somebody you know, to be taken through, uh, uh, I think, parliamentary mm. uh, 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 um, uh, 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 approval mm. to, to become the chief justice. So the president has been doing that, finding, getting somebody to replace uh, Madam Georgina Wood. And um, the president settles on another very competent woman mm. to take mm. over mm. the job. Madam Sophia is a very brilliant... Many would have thought that Justice Atuguba would have been there since the, the two vice president you know, at, at the bench. The two are the senior most on the bench, right. <coughs> Madam Sophia Kufu mm -hmm. and um, Justice Atuguba. So any of them can fill mm -hmm. the, the, the gap. So 
Um, one thing that is very, very certain about our current president is his uh, love for affirmative action. Mm -hmm. So I am, uh, a lot of us are not surprised that mm -hmm. he would want a woman to really take the position mm -hmm. back. He believes in woman empowerment. That's a president who, you know, when you are going for a, a position and a woman mm -hmm. is also involved, you would mm -hmm. really be, be thinking twice. Mm -hmm. He believes in woman empowerment and all his life, um, he has tried mm. to ensure that women get equal representation right. in government. So I'm sure it's one of the reasons mm. that made him go the, the, right. the, that way. But so of course, um, the two are the most senior most on the bench. Exactly. And, you know, Madam Sophia has, is, is, is brilliant. I right. mean, if you have followed her resume, her exploits mm. in Ghana, across the world, mm. she's fantastic. Mm. And I'm sure she would do an excellent job as the next CG. Absolutely. And we understand that uh, Justice Atukuba is set to uh, retire next year. Yes. Uh, of course. Some uh, of those things to come yeah. into consideration mm -hmm. because you would not uh, appoint or so another uh, 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 CJ mm -hmm. just within a year right. or two mm -hmm. in your administration. It becomes too frequent and, and, and uh, you know, it becomes, it begins to look mech. You know, in America, when um, Scalia, you know, passed away, mm -hmm. and um, uh, 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 Trump had the opportunity right. to, nominate to nominate somebody. He went for somebody very, very young, exactly. you know, so, so that the person, the, yeah, the person would, can the can last. Yes, there is reason to some of these things, and the uh, judicial, you know, precedents also show that it is good to have some longevity, you know, longevity right. as far as these things are. Mm -hmm. Are concerned okay. so that the person is able to bring changes, mm. is able to influence the system, mm. and is able to work effectively in, in ensuring that good is delivered. Salam Mustafa is a special assistant to the vice president of the republic and is also a, a deputy youth organizer of the MPP. But Nanaya Kubi, let, let, me, let me come to you, take a bite on uh, Justice Sophia Kufu. Good news uh, for, for, for our justice delivery system for women in particular? Well, um, <coughs> good morning, Johnny, yeah. and uh, good morning to Salam and all of well, us. What's yeah. the smile on your face? <laughs> 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 well, I think with, with regards to the, the appointment of the, the CJ, right. I think that there's really not much to, to be said. Mm. One, because there are laid down procedures right. for us reaching at, mm. I mean, uh, in appointing a CJ. Mm. And so my, 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 my position would be that due process ought to be followed okay. so that the lay down processes uh, as Salam attempted to lay out right. in terms of um, the, 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 uh, the Judicial Council right. and the President nominate, I mean, nominating Consulting Council of State and then uh, Parliament, Parliament and vetting and so on. That, that would be the topmost thing for me because mm -hmm. um, I believe that the most important thing is about competence, mm -hmm. and there's no doubt that at the, at the, at the bench we have very experienced people, right. you know, that can that can step into the shoes of Madame mm. uh, uh, Georgina Wood, mm. and 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 that that would be my 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 concern. The most important thing, at the end of the day, mm. is for our justice delivery system to be able to be enhanced, right. to be able to move from where it is currently, mm. so that I mean due process and. I mean, fair trial and justice will be given to ordinary Ghanaians mm. who don't have any choice and option in terms of access to justice delivery, mm. but then the, the, the law courts. Right. And so that is where my focus would be, that mm. the appointment should be one that will further add on to the gains and process, progress that will be. Uh, well, we are hoping. I mean, in terms of the credentials on paper, I mean, there's, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. But the, the practice is different from the theory. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I would be looking at the, 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 the action as right. it unfolds. Mm -hmm. And I mean, every Ghanaian is, 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 is interested okay. that at the end of the day, that very important arm of government, which is the judiciary, mm -hmm. that, that needs to uphold the sanctity and the sanity within public, I mean, discourse and so on, right. is, is one that w would not. Be, be, be diminished, mm. but rather we'll see uh, mm. uh, uh, 
a progressive growth in it. Right. Yeah. Page two of the Daily Guide says, vacate positioning. It says the ruling national, a new patriotic party has advised all current executives of the party who have been given appointments in the new government to resign without delay uh, with this decision by the National Council of the Party. Leading executives like National Women's Organizer Otiko Afisa Jabba, who is the Minister for Gender, uh, Children and Social Protection, Volta Regional Minister, uh, Chairman John Peter Mewis, Lands and Natural Resources Minister, as well as Kweku uh, Sumatram, a Bronga Half Regional Minister who doubles as the Regional Chairman, will have to decide whether to leave their ministry appointments or to do party work, to abandon party work uh, and concentrate on their respective appointments. Um, I find this quite interesting, though, Salam uh, Mustafa, because just yesterday uh, we're told that Mr. Freddie Blay, lawyer Freddie Blay, who was acting chairman of the MPP at the time when the party and national executive was, uh, was making this uh, uh, you know, decision known, he has been appointed GMPC board chairman. And, and really, one would wonder what kind of communication goes on between the party uh, its executive and say, you know, government. What would be your reaction to this? Um, yes. I was part of the council meeting and um, council indeed directed that um, appointees mm. of, of the party mm. who equally hold executive positions in government mm. should vacate one. Right. Either vacate the one in government and come to the party and full and serve full time okay. or leave the one in the party mm -hmm. and concentrate on the affairs of the state. Right. This was in relation to ministerial and deputy ministerial uh, appointments. Right. Obviously, um, our chairman mm -hmm. for the Volta region, um, John now, Peter yes, John right. Peter Amewu, mm -hmm. now Minister for Lands and Natural mm -hmm. Resources, who lives in Accra, will find. They, they will find it very difficult to man the affairs of the region mm. as regional chair. So it is only uh, proper that it is relinquished for somebody mm. to take up the position and concentrate on the core business mm. of organizing the party in the region. Right. Also, s those who occupy positions as uh, deputy ministers would also, you know, find it difficult to, you know, do the two. Mm. It, it's, uh, they, they, you know, the states you know, work mm -hmm. is so tedious mm -hmm. that it is also, you know, overstretching mm -hmm. if you are going to add it to party work, Absolutely. which is also time consuming. Absolutely. So the two are very How tedious. long ago did the party notice that they had to do this, uh, issue this factual? Okay, if, if you look at our constitution, it is quite clear that if you take a different position, especially executive position in, in, in government, mm -hmm. you would have to bow out of the position right. so that somebody else it's been four steps months already. into. Yes, mm -hmm. the last uh, National Executive Committee meeting we went, it came up right. and we, we discussed it. Mm -hmm. So it is not uh, uh, a new decision that right. is coming. Is it happening something because that of the Otiko Nabu uh, brawl? Not necessarily, okay. not necessarily. The plans were already far advanced. Okay to ensure that that is done mm -hmm. before we, we saw this unfortunate incident. So mm -hmm. we are not acting in lieu of, of this problem, right. but it is something the party, like I said, it is stated in the party's constitution. Is there a system, uh, for example, to, because if, if obviously you're saying not a vice president's office, so you may lose your position or maybe not. Um, if you do, is there a system to replace you? Uh, is it by appointment? Do we just get people in there? Or, for example, if Mayor uh, Nia Jesua, who is uh, regional secretary, yes. uh, decides to step out, Adam Sabo, who is his deputy, may step up. And then who fills Adam Sabo's position? Is there a system like that? Yes. National Council is seized with power to do appointments. It is the second highest body outside of Congress. Right. So it can appoint, you know, people to replace vacant positions. But so it, national uh, is there set out criteria for that? Or is it going to be nepotism and, no, and, no, and no. Friend, unfriendly no, lines? No, no, no. In doing appointment, a lot of considerations are taken note of. Um, regional balance, mm -hmm. gender, you know, ethnicity, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things go into replacing who, where. Right. So if National Council is going to replace these mm -hmm. people that are mm -hmm. going, a lot of thinking would be done as to who takes 
you know, which position, and also, but at the end of the day, we want competent people to come in and man the, 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 the party structure. Okay. Mm. The, the party is there primarily right. to win elections. Okay. When it is done, the byproduct is the government, mm. which concentrates Is there a on timeline the for, the this, uh, for this uh, decision to be implemented? So it's a vacated position. Is it immediate? Are we going to see it in the next week, next month? Is there a timeline to it? Do you know? Time, we didn't really put timeline, why, but why we, we expect that it is immediate. Why didn't we put timeline? Because to the it? president was very clear. Why didn't we put timeline? Because we expect it to be immediate. I, I mean, if the directive goes, we do not expect you to come in the next two months to say, okay, I'm not coming to tender in my resignation after you have been sworn in, you know, into office in your executive position. But I have said already, right. if we take the party's constitution, mm -hmm. it is already very explicit mm -hmm. that if you hold an executive position right. in government, if you take one. Mm. So the very moment you go and, sw and, and swear the oath of office, you leave the, the, the position in, in, in party. Mm. So it is uh, routine what the uh, National Council would do in replacing. It is nothing out of the ordinary. Right. It's, it is it's, uh, a part of the party no, structure. Have here, Let, let's take a bite on this, this matter. So the, the, the ruling party says uh, if you have a position and you hold a party position, you must relinquish one. It didn't put timelines to it, but then one would say it comes right on the back of Otiko Jaba and Bugri Nabu's brawl, and, well, he's explained that it is not as a result of that. But then on, right on the back of that, here's Freddie Blay, acting national chairman, who's been appointed GMPC boss. So he's supposed to be sitting at the top of the, of the group that's making the decision and asking people to vacate, and yet he's taking a position. But really? you know, just a, a quick one. Being the board chair is not being the CEO of Cuckoo Board. But, but you're working, you go you're, you're once drawing, in a while to chair. It's but, about but, four but times in a year or so. But it's you're quarterly. drawing from stage. Well, from, uh, it's, uh, you know. it's when they go for. Uh, 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 even if it's just once, when you, you draw from state funds. You know, so. uh, like uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> well, well, they, they say that a bad excuse is better than none. And, okay. and uh, the, the point is that. The very context or the very reason that even provoked that meeting was as a result of the Otiku Nabu right. issue. And mm -hmm. so I would disagree with, with Salim if he says mm -hmm. that it, it didn't play any, ra any, any role mm -hmm. in terms of. And uh, again, uh, and not so necessarily on. because of the Bugri Nabu Otiku issue. Okay. We have a timetable for national. He says he disagrees. So I'm to have his. Is he? I would have. Uh, well, yes. not, not. I would have been hesitant in commenting mm -hmm. with matters to do with the internal party right. matters. But I'm only commenting to the extent that it affects governance right. and the government is trying to find its mm -hmm. footing in mm -hmm. terms of how to deal with it. And that's the basis or the context within which I'll be commenting. Mm -hmm. But with regards to the um, internal party matter, I think that they reserve the right to organize their party mm -hmm. in any form that they, they want. But the, the point is that what, what would be the, 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 the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate mm. rationale behind okay. it? We are saying that the, the impression I get is that you want people to vacate their position right. so that they can concentrate either on party business mm. or government business. Right. That, that is, the, that is the, the, the primary rationale. Mm. And so I wouldn't, I mean, it doesn't convince me okay. when you say that the national chairman could be GMPC boss mm. and yet hold the same position. I mean, it defeats, for me, it, it dilutes right. even the, the essence of what you are talking about. Mm -hmm. and so, uh, but once again, the boss bank it, it links to the, 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 the NPP's appointments and, I mean, who is really doing what and mm -hmm. so on. Because we've heard a lot of reports where there's been appointments and there's been other appointments and so on, where there's been people have taken decisions mm -hmm. that we've had issues later on. The, that the president the is the appointing authority. Yeah, yeah, so we know that. But we've had, you, 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 you remember the NADMO mm -hmm. issue? Mm -hmm. You remember the NADMO issue mm -hmm. where two people were appointed? Mm -hmm. And the so. Only appointed one the, no, the but the you had the issue. It was all over yes, the, the, but the president There's no ambiguity about right. that. I'm not saying that there, there are other appointing authorities. Okay. I'm only saying making the point. Right. That. Theoretically, okay. it is the president Who's that supposed is to appoint. Yes, right. but we've had instances mm -hmm. where there's been accusation of people being vested with powers to make decisions in terms of appointments. People like who? 
Why? You had uh, Bugri and Abu and okay. Otiko okay. when Otiko was saying that Bugri is taking sheep and cows okay. in order to. Bugri doesn't find appointment. I am, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not debating you on the theory. <laughs> okay. I'm only saying that this is what is out there. What's in on the, the ground? Precisely. And I'm that has also been withdrawn. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. Has apologized no. and withdrawn. Well, well that, that is also okay. another debate we can yes. get into. Okay. But if you would just allow me to land, then we can get into the details Conclude. about the merits of so, yeah. so for me, it's about. Uh, people getting the space to be able to do the work mm -hmm. that we want. At the end of the day, Ghanaians are looking for a certain qualitative governance, a governance that should be superior than what we had previously. Mm -hmm. And so for me, my interest would be what they'll be able to do right mm. so that at the end of the day, the ordinary Ghanaian would, would, would see the full benefits. Right. As it stands, I'm not seeing any headway mm. in terms of policy directions and so on, but we are watching. What, what, what makes you think so? Planting for food and jobs, uh, <laughs> one district, one factory, <laughs> policy, summit, so many things happening. You know, we can, we can do the rhetoric right. and talk about all these mm. things, but the underpinnings of what the, the, that very policy is going to stand on is what is the problem. We have a country that is predominantly dependent on exports and so on. Right. I'm not seeing any clear policy mm. to reverse that trend, okay. to reverse the trend that the economy is dependent on three main commodities mm. and so on. So for me, and, so, and, and the whole approach about uh, the private sector as opposed mm. to do all sort of things, that is another matter. Mm. But the most important thing for me in conclusion is that I would be interested in the, 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 the state mm -hmm. being run effectively so that the mm -hmm. ordinary Ghanaian can benefit from his tax, mm -hmm. so that the ordinary Ghanaian would have that hope okay. that they promised, mm -hmm. so that we will see a clear distinction in terms of governance and its results mm -hmm. as to the, the lives of people being improved, as to nurses getting further yeah. recruited, right. as to teachers getting their allowances, as to the young people of the country being getting the jobs that they were pro promised and right. so on. That is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that there's clear confusion and lack of coherence in terms of how the NPP and gov in government that, that's, and that's so a on. sharp one. That's yeah, sharp. I mean, that, uh, that's how I see it. Exactly. And that's how it comes across. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't tell me that, and you and can't tell me yeah. that yeah. a government yeah. in power yeah that promise that they are going to produce a certain qualitative level of governance. Mm. They are not going to send Ghanaians back to where we were before. Mm. And let's even assume that that is where we were. <laughs> you can't tell me that a minister of state coming openly, castigating, insulting mm. uh, another officer, senior officer of the party is something that, 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 that shows, demonstrates a certain That's level of service. And so on. So uh, they, uh, have they been reprimanded, really? Yes, they have. Uh, they have. An apology is yeah. enough? No, as you... They, they, they have been bonded. No, but I'm, no. Say, I'm saying that. Yes. They made uh, Chama Bugri Nabu, for example, yes. makes a criminal allegations against somebody of a matter that is in court. Somebody is being held for that particular offense. Mm -hmm. He makes statement. He says it was a slip of tongue. <laughs> the lawyers have argued that you can't have a slip of tongue. You can't say you were provoked. Mm -hmm. And two days after, you come and have a press conference to reiterate what you said on radio and all of that. And later come and apologize and say, because you've been bonded not to say these things again, it should fly by. The, is is the, that the understanding the party, I'm getting from The you? general secretary Mr. of Salam. the party and the party in general mm -hmm. was very angry about this and took action on it. The people were asked if they had specific evidence, mm. if, they, if there was any. Why, why, why is the party not referring the matter to the police, which is the official investigating body, to, to handle this? This, like I have indicated, the party has inv investigated the matter. Mm. Call the people, where is your evidence? We don't have evidence. But we know we that said it in on this the spell of the moment. Yeah, salam. So if somebody says something, we know that in what this What is the police country, going to do? If anybody, yes. uh, I mean, crime is investigated yes. by the police. So uh, we, one nobody, would expect yes, that a party, nobody has stopped the a police party from like the NDP in government yes. would, and, and the president says the police must be allowed to do mm -hmm. their work. Yes. A party would make reference to the police to say, uh, let's not treat them with kids' gloves. Yes. Let the police do their work. The party equally hasn't stopped the police from you know, wanting to investigate the matter. If the right. police uh, want to do so, that is their prerogative. Mm -hmm. But we, as a party, yeah. we have, you know, uh, structures to deal with such matters which we have activated. Mm -hmm. the, the general secretary of the party was able to get, you know, the system in place to ensure mm -hmm. that these people came to prove what they said. Mm -hmm. If there was evidence whatsoever to mm -hmm. the effect of what they, they said, mm -hmm. certainly it would have been a different 
matter. Yes. But they all came and apologized and said, hey, look, we, we don't the, have the, evidence the, to the, what we are Did you realize that the apology yes. were not directed at the individuals? Otiko didn't apologize to Bugri Nabu. Bugri Nabu in turn didn't apologize to Otiko. The apology was to the nation, to the president, and to That's the That's what's important, apologizing to, to the country. But if, if, for if I say something, ag to, if I say to, something to against you, yes. you should be the first recipient of my apology, not the entire, not glittering generalities as it were. Don't you agree? But the apology is good to the extent that once you offend the Ghanaian people, mm. we are the ruling party. Sure. You cannot be seen as doing something at variance mm. with the national So, so what would be so the essence of the bonding, the people. Uh, Salam, the essence of the bonding, yes. if we, for example, uh, uh, offend Nanayao Apia Kubi, yes. and you don't apologize to him, but you apologize to TV3. Of course, we are within the same family. So certainly, these, these people, we, we are members of NEC, we are members of National Council. So certainly, I mean, we were in the same meeting to together. A specific individual. <laughs> yes, so the apology was in, done. In, in the matter of Bukri Nabu, forgive me if I'm pressing too hard, but yes. in the matter of Bukri Nabu versus uh, Bukayo Roxin, for mm -hmm, example, mm -hmm. his lawyers demanded an apology yes. specifically. Yes. And if you look at the letter he wrote, yes. he specifically apologized to Mr. Bukayo Roxin mm. and, and said that he would not repeat the action again. Yeah. It's because of the content of what was said. And in fact, if you listen to Bukri, he mentioned that after the interview, when he calmed down and realized that he had said this, he was sorry. He immediately called the, the, the regional minister. And, and then and said, he, oh, and they had a press conference. Y yes. Then the to, regional... To reiterate what he had said on radio, which no, he some was of them supposed were, to have, which was supposed to have regretted. So, some of these issues were cooked by the, the NDC. They were? The brute we, the we had the tape. Uh, of the, Nanaya, of the did you cook they, something? They, they, Nanaya, they did you fully cook got involved issuing um, non-existent statements and so on. Nanaya, and did you cook something? The NDC was involved in some of them. You could yeah, smell yeah, the yeah, NDC. Yeah, Nanaya, yeah, Nanaya, did you cook yeah, something? Yeah, in fact, yeah. the minority says the president is weak. And that he should have the asked out the president, uh, Otiko at this point. The president point. was very forthright in the meeting that he cannot accept this. And, the, you know, he brought it, and that's why he brought it to the highest body of the party. And elsewhere, somebody would have lost their job. The president just issued. No, no, I, I don't yeah, know. That's why the person well, uh, is bonded. Well, well, this well, is the well, person's well, first offense in government. Okay. Okay? okay, that's why the person is bonded. <coughs> if you do this, and the bond is unlimited. We could have said, oh, we, we have given you a two-month bond, or I'll give you a six-month bond, but this is unlimited. One more mistake, and, you're up. and that is more serious than anything else, right. to bond a whole regional chairman, mm. to bond, you know, the national women's organizer and the minister for gender. Mm. You know, it is it's a serious matter that we probably, we, we, we are treating with case club, mm. but it is serious. Mm. One little and that, mistake. And who is treating the, the nation or the party? No, it looks like uh, the, the, I've heard a lot of people, especially within the media circles, oh, this is not punitive enough. And that is the basis on which the uh, minority say the president is weak. But no, this is a president who, at his instance, the, 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 the meeting was put on that day. And he came purposely because of that issue. Says, I Do they have to take the president the to, president to solve this? There's a national chairman of the party. Like I have said, we, we have a timetable for these things, for these meetings, mm -hmm. when to have a national council meeting. So this was not an meeting. emergency. It, does it feed into the, the theory that appear could be raised that there's, there's not unity and there's confusion in the party? Because the national chairman, indeed, yes. it didn't have to take the, the president the, to come to this. The like I said, meetings, the president can ask the national chairman, we have these issues to talk about. So let's call for a council meeting. Let's call for mm -hmm. a neck meeting. What if the president is going to appoint DCs okay. and so on and so forth? Naturally, he would come to the party because right. these are party people. Okay. So he can call for right. a meeting at uh, any uh, time. I have one minute on this. Let's go well, on to let the task and read a few uh, messages. Well, it's, um, for me, my, the most important thing is that there, is, there are two dimensions that we ought to look at this. We can look at it from the party perspective and how they decide to deal with their party matter and at the state level, right. where it has to deal with Ghanaians who some even are non-political exactly. and non-partisan. And so to that extent, mm -hmm. I wouldn't begrudge them if they bond, they choose to bond their members okay. and pamper them and so on. Mm -hmm. that, that is an internal matter. Right. But to the extent that it comes to the national level and affects the state, and we are talking about a first degree felony issue here, mm -hmm. and we are talking about the murder mm -hmm. of a Ghanaian, right. and we are talking about an issue that has to do with mm -hmm. people languishing in jail, mm -hmm. 
over this matter. I think that the Ghanaian people but deserve evidence. Well, you, well you, let me let me just let me let me let me let me. The minority says the president. Yeah, but that's is weak. that's why that's that's why I'm coming. Why would you say so? But that's why I'm coming. Why would you say the president is weak? You, 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 we've seen events unfolding. You look at the Delta Force incidents. They are called to the Flagstaff House. They come and apologize. They were never called you, to the Flagstaff House. Well, never. you didn't hear that? They that they were brought to the Flagstaff House. Wound to me, let them, and all that. They that, came to, to apologize. Well, to maybe you president. can say that not the they Flagstaff the House as a house, yes. <laughs> but you met them. The president met them and so on. Yes. That's the, that's, the, that's the impulse of but what I'm saying. Was it the case they but met the president? Yes, they met the president. The president. <laughs> you heard it, it was all over in the, in the news. The that, that chairman, uh, Boise, I Precisely, someone to Flagstaff. It was banner headline in all the newspapers. Yeah. But well, they can decide to, to deal with these matters and so on. For, mm -hmm. To that extent that it affects the Ghanaian person, right. my interest would be that the police service, that is the investigative body, right. And we are talking about the commander in chief mm -hmm. of the Ghana Armed Forces right. and the head of all these forces right. and so on. That is the president. Mm -hmm. He has the powers mm -hmm. to instruct and to even. He has already done that. He's told the police to work. He's well, done that we, all, we also know. Ago. And you know, this also feeds into the debate about the, the, the security of tenure of the IGP right. and the fact that we all know the long arm of government and some of the things that it can do. But the, the, the points ought to stand that there's no doubt mm -hmm. about the sort of influence that the executive. Have over critical institutions. Do you have similar, similar no, it's, it's something that's been happening. Do you have similar I'm not control? saying that, but I'm saying that it is public knowledge. Mm -hmm. That there's no doubt. And, and I'm asking the, the, you specifically, did the NDC, the S R government? Well, I, there's, the there's, there's no example for me to justify that. But we are talking about a particular um, incident here. There's and no so, example. Collins Dowder's brother said well, they've been well, killing people. Well, yes, well, uh, well, well, well. You see, and, you see, and the police didn't act. You see, Johnny. You see, Johnny. Each time we get into the discourse about building a better and a right. qualitative government, then we begin to refer the negatives. But but you, no, I'm making a point. No, let yeah, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, well, let me conclude. Sorry, One time, so then, on. you have but your take. You yeah. told me yeah. that there's not a single example. I just give you an example. Well, that, that, those were allegations. Those were allegations that didn't merit any, any discourse. You understand? We are talking about a minister of state here, clearly making... I mean, uh, regional chairman and so on, making yes. an allegation yes. against. Let's let's my, my, let so, let's let's so, so let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me, let me you know, okay. you know, you know let me. Yeah. Okay. A, a deputy minister accused a, a minister who, which, no, of, which, of corruption. Okay. Who? Uh, on, on, on radio. Which, right. which Thank you. Good friend, so, good morning. <laughs> you guys are doing great in all your programs, and I wish all ladies. Uh, in the house, healthy, happy Mother's Day. Good morning to your viewers and guests. Good morning. Uh, please, I think about the Trotro issues. I think the government have to provide the public with more transport service. Ismail Ahoroya Ali sent that one. Good morning, TV3. I think the government should think about the teaching of patriotism and discipline in our schools instead of French. Things are really falling apart in the country. Tete Wayo sent that one. Happy Nurses Day to all nurses in Boku Presby Hospital, especially the lecturers in the college. DJ Double Sko uh, Ima or CEO Ima, Mr. Gilbert. I'm proud to be a product of that college and hospital. Azuma Kusi Paul. I salute you, Bright, and the entire team of TV3. You guys are the best in this, uh, this morning. Uh, thanks to you people for the wonderful exhibition to the public. Ayeko from Muntaka Designer. Why, Johnny, there are more serious issues bothering the well being of ordinary Ghanaians than the fake internal wrangling that the two major political parties want us to accept as real. We, members of the Unemployed Teachers Association, want the Ghana Education Service to explain why our members should not picket at the Ministry of Education for the selective postings the GES has been doing against the interest of all sandwich and distance education graduates. From Alas and Baku, President of Unemployed Teachers Association, and this feud between Oti Kojaba and Bugri and Abu should be dealt with meticulously. The apologies are not enough. The MPP must not see this as a party problem, but as a national issue. So Bugri and Abu apologized. To only Bukhari, not Utiko, claiming it was a slip of tongue. So Bugri Nabu stands by his accusations of masterminding murder against Utiko. Nothing is going well with this government. We have a president, an IGP, national security coordinator, national security advisor, minister of defense, minister of interior, delta forces, invisible forces. Why are they, what are they doing about this matter? The laws must work. 
Emmanuel in Ho. I think the MPP is doing this because of Otiko and Abu Kis. Hmm. The MPP guy is saying nothing in this serious issue and looks at uh, uh, the way he's addressing it. Ismail Ahoroya. And good morning. I'm really enjoying your program, but I'd like you to tell the government to release our feeding grant for us because uh, our colleagues, uh, our colleagues are in school learning while we are at home doing nothing by Nana Andy inside Navongo. So uh, a lot of issues there. Money's uh, not being released and all of that. Uh, do you know when the monies are going to be released? Uh, Salam Mustafa. Which teachers, one? and there's uh, unemployed teachers as well. They're asking, they, they, they said they want to come and pick it at your office. Uh, office. No need. Yeah. As you know, um, government has secured clearance for 11,000 nurses, a backlog. They, they say there's selective, the selective, yes. so we are working selective appointments. Some no, people are, true. they look at your face, they look at your paper. That cannot, they look at, that cannot yeah. be true. Mm. That cannot be true. We are in, in, in office now, and we have been in office for just four months or so, right. running into our fifth month. So we cannot begin, you know, the process were already started. And um, we have, you know, decided to clear some of them. Um, we have come to meet a lot of these problems, mm -hmm. this mess that mm -hmm. we, we inherited. So but was that why the health minister had to put a hold on, on the uh, appointments first of yes, all? Yes, a lot of things have to be audited. And also financial clearance has mm. to be gotten right. to take the people. But, but when you, the money bond them, be, you bond them yes. and you've given them their, their numbers and letters and everything, it means that financial clearance... Public uh, Services Workers Commission. We didn't come to meet any dime. Diligence. We didn't come to meet any dime. It is now this government is there squeezing no money. water. Yes, water out of stone to get these people. That's how come we're able to, uh, we have managed to get financial clearance for 11,000 mm. of the nurses. Mm. Now, um, some, some of the teachers have gotten, you know, some ideas. Mm. And I, I know um, financial clearance is also being worked on for some uh, of the teachers okay. to to be picked on, so they should relax um, and give the government some st little bit of time for how long? to sort. Uh, I, I am not the finance minister. It is when the but finance you are closer minister closer to the seat of government. Yes, you, yes. You are a special assistant to the vice president. Yes, um, still mm. it is within the the the. the the power to raise money mm. to to pay that is important and mm. when the money is gotten certainly the the people would be until then what do they do do they stay hungry unemployed frustrated no it's, it's a regrettable situation rejected? and that's why we we have campaigned as you know we have restored the teachers and nurses training allowance mm. you know so most of the things we have promised we are delivering them mm. as far as you know making sure that people are comfortable in this country mm. so we will not renege on our promises mm. these people would certainly find spaces but we have to get the money we cannot take them and not pay them and mm. also becomes mm. a problem the, the teachers say yes you have restored the allowances but the intake uh, criteria is has been shot up uh, and then the numbers have reduced, the, num the, the intake numbers have reduced. Is that the case? I'm not aware of the, of the details. Right. I'm not aware of the details. Mm -hmm. But um, what I know certainly is that a lot is being worked on to right. ensure that the system is fluid, mm -hmm. there's money so that more can be taken. Mm -hmm. It is when you are able to engage the young people in the country right. in something productive mm -hmm. that the nation can really begin to have progress mm. so we are we are minded and we are doing all that we can to ensure that these people all get placement mm. and every day it is the the dream of the president mm. his vice president and they work so hard at it mm. trying to squeeze water out of stones to ensure that there's financial clearance there's money mm. to engage everybody who has been bonded has finished school mm. and need a job to do so they 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 should give government a little bit of time mm. certainly uh, the, their issues are being how worked much on. time that's a question like i said it's about raising money so how it's about long raising money. do we know the finance minister is working so hard okay. you know one thing that has crippled this country mm. badly one one of the result of the reckless management mm. we saw in the previ previous administration is the amount of money we use in debt servicing mm. so what we are trying to do is to ensure that we have a better debt management system in place right. so that the system can begin to free up. Mm -hmm. When we have money, then we can engage more. Mm -hmm. Money will be pushed into the productive sectors of right. the economy. Now, most of the things we, we want to do is private sector-led, and um, we are doing very well. It's just a matter of time. A lot would, 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 would come out for the people, uh, young people, to find 
Now, 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 the 2016 manifesto of the NPP uh, put out a litany of people who are suffering. Teachers are suffering, husbands are suffering, wives are suffering, nurses are suffering. Uh, after they won the election, four months down the line, the people are still complaining. Uh, and here is a teacher who is venting his frustration and threatening to go and picket with his people at the Flagstaff House. Salam says there will be no need because they are working at it. Is that the indication you get as well? Well, he is in government, and so to the extent that he, he, he makes some statement, uh, I'm hoping that the nurses and the teachers will take his statement serious. Mm. But the point Why is Why shouldn't they take it seriously? Well, you know, we had um, uh, a session addressed by the vice president mm. where he said all sort of things mm. about the achievement, one achievement, one day, and exactly. so on. 103. And so on. And then what, right after that, we had the, we had the nurses picketing at, at the place that, look, we've been told that we, you've, you've employed us, yet we are home. And to give us the, the jobs, that I was very specific. Well, let me let me, let me let me let me let me let me land my brother. So uh, w these people have gotten these assurances, mm -hmm. and yet they've not manifested. That. In any case, mm -hmm. uh, proud to post post elections, we had a lot of rhetoric. Then PP made us realize that the money was sitting there. The money was there. There are occasions that uh, then can vice presidential candidate Baumia will say, well, "The money is sitting there. We'll take this money. We'll take the money from." Uh, uh, corrupt practices, etc., and so on. So the impression was created that there was money sitting there. I'm surprised that today he's making the statement about trying to squeeze water out of stone. Mm. <laughs> so since when did we start squeezing water out of stone? <laughs> the point is that the, 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 the nature of our economy is one that uh, the, 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 the resources at the disposal of the state mm. in terms of expenditure mm. is, 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 is a little constrained. Mm. And it was within this context that the NDC then was making some of these statements mm. that we need to tread cautiously. Mm. We need to build up some of these resources and open up our revenue base mm. so that we can take in a lot more and so on. But w uh, we had a lot of things from them then mm. <laughs> that the money was sitting there, we can find it, it is there. Mm. So. People go into an election with high expectations. Okay. They are voted into office. Um, ahead of, after the elections, the president says, oh, wait, after the State of the Nations, nations address, you mm. see something. The, the people wait. After the State of the Nations address, the president says, oh, my minister will bring the budget. Right. We wait. Mm. After the budget, they say, oh, wait, we are going for appropriation. Ghanaians are waiting. They are still telling us to. I think that we are, <laughs> we've, given them a four time, year, uh, yeah, we've given them a four-year mandate, right. and it is only fair that we judge them after the four years. But in terms of the build-up to that four years, mm. people are beginning to ask questions. The, the Abu Sokai crisis is still there. The, the tax that they assured them that they've cleared it, mm. it's of course, met a certain block. We have the nurses that are complaining day in, day out, to the extent that we've even had the minister coming out to say that they are going to uh, revoke the bonding policy and so mm. on. So you are, you are seeing a certain clear uh, uh, but these are problems uh, the government left. Well, I'm, I'm not saying that. With. The point I am making mm -hmm. is that these problems so existed. Some of these things you should even run away no, from it. No, no. <coughs> Why? We offered a setting approach. We offered a setting. We afforded. We, we offered a setting approach to dealing with these challenges. Mm -hmm. You but, said but, that but to the extent yeah. that just four months after the election and when you handed over power, it's come to light that, in fact, the problems, the approach that you had was not workable because the problems are staring us right in the face. For example, what approach that did we have? We had a backlog of people who had been bonded and yet not employed, actually. Mm -hmm. That's a huge problem, is no, it but, not? But, but the, 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 no, the knowing full well that the, the process through which the people go to get financial clearance from the ministry, they get their biometrics done and everything yeah. else. Johnny, you know that yeah. before, before we left government, we had secured um, financial clearance for about... 8,000. So why were they not employed really? no, at the time? I'm telling you, yes, this? yes. But the point I'm making... So no why, were they, why were they no. not employed as no, at no, the time? No, but it's a process. Of course, you, of course, you don't just, you don't, you don't just recruit true. people overnight. Mm. It is a process. You build I, them I up. I agree, so but the but financial the clearance is the very last bit of it. Yes. As soon as you get financial clearance, it means that you have a green light to employ them. Precisely. I'm saying that if they got financial clearance, and yet they didn't get their letters of appointment to be posted. Mm. Then what, what really had It was done? around that time that the NPP said that, no, they should hold on with all these things. And so they hold it on, and then they, 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 they later revoke it. How? We're power. How can I'm, we I'm, tell I'm, the government to no, hold it? No, it was after the elections that you, you did that. Was, but you don't wait No, let me, let me make a point. Let me make, I'm saying that you held that process after the elections. You didn't hold anything. It was at the latter part of the election. It was until February when they held it on. So we had, we had power uh, since October when financial clearance was gotten. Mm -hmm. 
to have employed them even up until December. Why didn't you, we? You, you, you remember, you recall that there was this fiat that all these other last minute issues should be held on and right. so on. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they clearly did that. And it happened in that, the education. That, that was you remember the, that? That was at the transition table yeah, no, you, after the election. But these people have been there since 2012. Johnny, 12. I'm making a point mm -hmm. that you remember, even with the teachers, that it was also held on right. until after a latter mm -hmm. stage. So mm -hmm. there was a general policy about holding on and so on. But the point is that at the end of the day, these people are being given the chance right. to get back and so on. And so when you say that policy-wise, we've mm -hmm. got certain things, well, what? Our approach was that these people ought to go into these facilities. Okay. They need the facilities mm -hmm. to, be, to, to work in. Mm -hmm. And that explains the expansions in health sector, the expansion, the hospitals, the mm -hmm. polyclinics, the chip compounds that we build across the country. Mm -hmm. And so these people are virtually going to work in these infrastructures that we put up. Okay. That is a, a, a logical policy. And then he says there's to, no to money to pay up. them. Uh, and so, come yes, to we, we will have the structures. Or any evidence mm -hmm. of government trying, attempting to take 8,000 people or so of these people that you have left since 2012. Mm -hmm. Four years they have been home, some five. So we thought that let's clear the backlog. Right. We still have about two years, 2015 to mm -hmm. 2017. So when we take this 11,000 backlog, then we will seek another financial clearance mm. for the two years that is outstanding. Right. That's the, uh, the, the, that's the plan you have. Yes, that's okay. the arrangement the, 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 the government has done. Mm. So don't create any impression as if the government what, what attempted impression? to do something. Mm. Yeah, the what you did it's not a matter of fact. So since 2012, you sat down and waited. So you lost the election b before you began to... No, I'm not saying that. You, you yourself, you are you but admit. You know what you're no, no, you're true. There was, no, no, there was, you are just putting a spin on what I'm saying. I'm saying that the government... Evidential to support your claim that, you know, financial clearance was given for some... But the vice president, I mean, to, we did really find to, uh, to, I mean, any to, verification to. when he made those statements that those nurses were recruited. After Which they one? went to the... That he's in recruited about 11 and hundred so all days, nurses and so on. In the hundred days achievement. Days. It turned out to be false. The, the nurses ended up at the, uh, at the, at the Ministry of Finance. No, to pick it, it. that's the nurses who... Who are 2015, 2016? So clearly, I mean, that's the point I'm making. Yeah, you're talking, you're talking about you working with a backlog yes. and yes. trying to rope in the backlog yes. because you look at 2015. Yes. So it means that the 2015, 2016 nurses will have to bid their time maybe by 2018, 2019. No, no, no. Hopefully, by let's see, by close of year. Okay. If um, all goes well and uh, we are able to find money, then mm. we'll do the clearance for... So, Kateri's Peribus, all things being equal. <laughs> anyway. Well, I am not, uh, like I can say, I'm not the finance minister. Okay, but but you just made a pledge that, uh, let's, let's hope, and, and you're a big man, day, big man from the vice money, president's office. We, so. we will find money mm. to employ these people. We have no reason not to. These right. are people that have been trained okay. and, and at the expense of right. the state. So you don't leave them sitting at home okay. like we saw the NDC do for four Phase years. two, and Gold right. Street Business says GIPC to make fronting an offense. And a story reads also on the front page, says, well, Ghanaian nationals who aid foreigners by fronting for their companies to circumvent the provisions of the minimum uh, capital requirement will soon be offending the law as the GIPC Act undergoes review. And it, it goes on to say that under the law, uh, foreign investors in a joint venture arrangement with a Ghanaian must have a capital of 200,000 US dollars. A wholly owned foreign uh, concern uh, requires a minimum capital of 500,000 US dollars. Um, while trading by foreigners attracts a capital outlay of 1 million US dollars. Now, the act makes reservations in specific areas like selling the markets, petty trading, taxi services, beauty shops, among others, solely for Ghanaian nationals. I have shown a, a picture of an Asian man uh, who was in a taxi. If we have time, I'll show it to you on the screen. Who was in a taxi and actually running a taxi business. <laughs> we have had stories of these things, and uh, Honorable Hanatete has had her own trouble with them around the UTC area trying to let them go home. If you go there now, drag lane, you find foreigners doing, you know, uh, local, local business jobs. If you go to tiptoe lane, you find our Nigerian brothers and sisters, and we did a story yeah. on that, selling phones, about 70% of them. So clearly we have a problem on our hands. The challenge now is this. I have a business idea. I'm a Ghanaian, but I don't have the money for it. And so I front for somebody to put the money. The GIPC says it's going to be an offense. Good news, bad news? Let me start with you, Salam. Uh, it certainly cannot be good news that Ghanaians front for foreign companies. Mm. Um, it has become one too many. 
uh, it is one of the problems we are seeing with this galamse. Mm -hmm. Ghanaians go to China and invite these people to come. Mm -hmm. And um, some of them go to look for the concessions mm -hmm. and, you know, approach landowners and so on yeah. and, and, and acquire the land for the Chinese to come and engage in, in the mining. Right. But it is almost across mm -hmm. every sector. You know, it looks like um, we, some of the jobs we don't want to do in this country, others come and comfortably do it mm -hmm. and make a lot of money mm -hmm. to, you know, the spectacle of Ghanaians. It is time that we realize certain, in fact, these, these uh, uh, regulations, laws, and so on are, are, are there, that specific businesses are reserved for Ghanaians. Right. And that these are things to begin to take advantage of. Mm. Look, um, one of the things that I've said that Ghanaians is, do this, yes. this work. One there. of the problems yeah. has been capital. Right. How Ghanaians would raise money to go into some of these businesses, especially the, the spare pass you know, uh, 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 industry, mm. where it is a bit capital intensive. So for a Ghanaian to raise about $300,000 USD to start a spare pass business, it is so much. That's why this government believes in the, in the venture capital fund right. idea mm. and that we should begin to, to drift towards it again so that we can build a lot of businesses. Right. It's when we begin to do so, build the capacity of Ghanaians. Mm. And uh, we have so many you know, uh, 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 funding institutions in the country mm. that we should begin to depoliticize uh, and ensure that to they are able to support to Ghanaians. These yeah, indigenous mass lock is there. You know, it, 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 it should be one of the flagship you know, uh, uh, institutions mm. leading the, the charge mm. for indigenous owned Ghanaian businesses. But, but Salam, I, 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 if, if you're looking at to. what Maslok affords, the yes. money Maslok affords, yes. and what the GIPC is naming in its yes. uh, 200,000 US dollars, dollars clearly yeah. Maslok doesn't afford individuals that kind of money. That's what, as a nation, we must hol holistically look at these things. If we have to build the capacity of, of Ghanaians mm. to engage in these businesses, mm. if we want to use Maslok as the vehicle, right. we must find money for Maslok to do so. Mm. Like I said, we have the Venture Capital Fund as well. Okay. I noticed that in the last administration, it's been very dormant. Mm. We've not had so much of capital mm. venture, but we are trying so much to revive. What are you doing differently? The, you, you need to find... It's all about resourcing okay. them to do what they are supposed to do, mm. find money for right. them. Then the initiatives okay. that Ghanaians bring, they are able to support them. So that's what we need to do. Okay. So in the absence of capital and funding, we find it convenient to run behind these foreign companies. People right. go to China mm. and bring uh, uh, okay. business con conglomerate, okay. conglomerates, mm. uh, uh, Turkey, mm. America, and so on and so forth. Come, I know of, especially in the oil industry, okay. some of the things I've heard, I've not been too enthused. Okay. Some in the local content, mm. some of the, the, the businesses there that are supposed to go to Ghanaian, right. People hide behind foreign companies and give it to. Right. Okay. You know, and, uh, uh, when you hear these things, you, you, it, you feel it, very it's sad. It's shattering. Yes. But we're happy that you, Fi Grand says, will become. Yes, I will be very. I will support him uh, to. to, to, uh, to no, no, I'll quickly wrap up on this one for me. We're, we're told well, that our time is up. They're sacking us from the studio. Well, I think that the, the, the very nature of our political economy is a, is a problem. Since yes. 1983, mm -hmm. we've virtually been a narrow commodity export dependent country relying on the exports of gold, mm -hmm. oil, mm -hmm. and recently mm -hmm. oil, and so on. That is the, 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 the base of our problem. Right. And so for me, the point is also about the development model that we are adapting. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the we are signing bilateral investment treaties mm -hmm. uh, within the, 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 the international arena. Mm -hmm. And this is making global capital local or domestic. And so you, 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 you have a situation whereby our governments are talking about the private sector leading development. Mm. But largely, the, 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 the form and shape of the Ghanaian private sector is small and medium scale enterprises. Right. And so each time we open a new critical mm. sector of our economy, mm. foreign private sectors take control. Right. And that has been the problem. Mm. That and, and, and it, How it, do we police this? And, and, and it, 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 
we, we police, it's not a matter of policing it because you see now globalization is one that is <laughs> opening up within the context of liberalization, mm -hmm. free trade, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. So these people come in, they invest into the critical sectors of our economy. You look at the banking sector, mm -hmm. the telcos, and so on. At the end of the day, they repatriate their profits out of our economy. Right. You see capital flights and so on. And that is where I have a problem when the government says that it's going to allow the private sector without emphasis mm -hmm. on the Ghanaian private sector okay. or even the state taking a critical role mm. in terms of policy and seeing through to it right. that will be able to develop some aspects of this economy. You have a situation where since 2005, mm. I mean, I was reading a survey report that about 50% of jobs created mm. is mainly within the retail and wholesale sector. Mm. So that we have an economy that we are importing everything, everything. and 80% uh, yeah. of our export earnings that is coming from gold, cocoa, and so on, we are spending it on the consumption that we need. Clearly, yeah, clearly. we cannot build a country like yeah. this. Sure. And it is a matter, and it is a matter, and it is a matter that I believe that we need to deal with it right. drastically. It's a matter that, and, and I, that's why the basis on which I say that I'm not seeing any mm. paradigm shift in right. terms of the growth model that okay. the NPP government and the well, people yeah, are doing. I thank you very much. Sunday right. is Mother's Day. Uh, you want to say hello to your mother? Well, I say hello to my mother, and I have a lot of well, mothers. What's her no, name? What's your mother's my name? My mother's name is Janet Kwapong Jabo. Absolutely. And I say happy Mother's Absolutely. birthday to her. I say uh, happy Mother's birthday to to Madam Grace Ankara, mm. my mother-in-law. Fresh out. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say Mother's Day to your wife who's been feeding you and breastfeeding you. That is not for public. Happy Mother's Day to yeah. all mothers. I have a lot of mothers. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day to all of them, but special one to Haji Amina Tamali, right. Haji Arahi, then um, uh, Haji Aisha, my wife's right. mom as well. Um, Absolutely. My, my wife as well. You didn't see your wife's name? Yes. Uh, my wife is Sharifa. Absolutely. And uh, my little girl's uh, voice. Yeah, they are, Happy they are Mother's Day to mothers. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. But yeah. I just got a, a little clarification that it's the in, in, in uh, appointing the, the CJ, it is in consultation with the Council of State. Council of State yes. Parliament, yes. 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 which Parliament. is what I mentioned. And not yes. the, uh, the no. Judicial Council. Yes, yeah. not, not them. So yes. thank, but thank the, you very the much. The Judicial yes. Council uh, is part of the nomination. Yes, yes. it's exactly. part of the nomination. Exactly. Yes. But, but yes. you consult the Council of State. Yes, yeah. they consult the Council of State. Uh, 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 say videos and photos have come out. Have you seen some? Uh, You've seen no, some? I, I haven't have not seen. Oh, you you pretend what, not to what, have what seen. What lead? What leaked? Gallops I will uh, not. Sex for but you know, but, but not you know, Johnny. Gradually, you, and uh, you know, gradually, I could be in the face with the NDC <laughs> and uh, I, I would not Salam mind, Mustafa yes, is uh, a special assistant <laughs> of the vice president. We'll see you after this break.